Hello. Skyscan CT Analyzer version 1.10 and above has a new function for real-time viewing of 3D volume rendered models. These are different from the surface rendered models that you will see in the Skyscan CT volume program. Now, this volume modeling corresponds to the additional button that you can see here at the end of the row of buttons. Before going to the function, Let's quickly look in the Preferences. If I go to File and Preferences and go to the Volume item on the far right, I can see that there's a list of available resolutions. This will depend on the video graphics card inside your computer. The bigger it, it is, the more memory it has, and the more resolution you will have available. In some cases, volume modeling may be completely unavailable if the volume uh, graphics card does not support OpenGL2. So, to open volume modeling, let's click on the volume rend rendering button. A progress bar appears. Now this, by the way, is a data set of uh, a fossil, fossilized bone, a relatively dense object scanned in the Skyscan 1173. It's interesting because it contains a number of different density phases, clearly resolved from each other. Now, when the volume a rendered model appears, one can manipulate it using the right and left mouse buttons. The uh, left mouse button implements a rotation movement, while the right mouse button, moved from left to right, moves the object closer, while moved from right to left, moves the object further away. Now, there are a number of uh, controls available along the top. One of them is the uh, clip box. This makes a box appear around the sides of the object. And by uh, holding down the shift button on the keyboard, the shift button, at the same time as making a left mouse button drag and drop, I can pull in one of the panes and open up by cutting a, a, a surface uh, through the bone and remove, remove a part of the, of the, of the object. And I can rotate the data set and do this from a number of different directions. I can turn it around, let's say, and do a cut from on top. So that is the clip box option. Now, when you are looking at a volume model, it's a good idea to go to the binary page and to adjust the threshold. The adjustments to the threshold will change the appearance of the volume model. If I threshold only the very highest objects, then I will only see the very highest density objects. As I decrease the threshold, then more objects are included in the volume modeling. Another thing that we can do is actually change the color pattern. Rather than original or grayscale, I can choose one or another color scheme. Then the model appears with a sort of false color. Note, if I want to save an image at any time, I click on the button on the far left, Save Image, and whatever image is displayed in the uh, volume uh, rendering window, that image will simply be saved as a BMP or a JPEG file. Now finally, as an alternative to the uh, clip box, we have something called a, a clip pane which uh, is a single uh, pane bounded by white lines. Now, um, as in the case of the clip box, if I hold down the control button I can, and then make a left mouse button drag and drop, I can rotate the clip pane while the object remains stationary. And if I do that, I can place the plane in a different orientation relative to the object and then release the control button and now, holding down the shift button, I can move the, uh, the pane in such a way as to cut a chosen surface through the object and expose it. And the, pe and the pane, like the clip box, can be turned on and off using the appropriate button. Let's put it back to the original color. In addition to volume model rendering, which is uh, activated by this button here, 
there is MIP, or maximum intensity projection. This, in the case of this fossilized bone, gives a slightly more transparent sort of appearance. Depending on the object, either volume modeling, volume rendering, or MIP will give the most effective view. There is another option, attenuation map, but this requires some uh, adjustment of the uh, scales of uh, contrast in order for the results of it to become visible. So volume modeling is a new real-time tool for uh, rapid visualization of the density and morphological uh, characteristics of the open data set in CT Analyzer. Thank you.